Hey y'all, D.W. Burks here, Hickbilly Outdoors. I'm going to do a little talk about some bass fishing. A subject a, a friend of mine asked me about the other day, but a guy also asked me about at the lake the other day if I would talk about a certain technique he watched me do, was doing. He said, he, uh, said he'd been throwing a crankbait and hadn't been catching any fish all year. And Heck, I was spanking them. Not big fish, but I was spanking them. It was all about the square bill crankbait. So Mike Beasley and friends of mine like that out there, we're going to talk about them. We're not fishing, we'll do some talk first and we'll get to the rest of it later. Stay tuned. Bill crankbaits. That's a new way of calling. We used to call them shallow runners. Um, they are square bill. That means the bill is generally square instead of a deep diving bill. They come in all kinds of sizes. They got all these cool names nowadays. Um, most of these are ones I made myself, which will be another video, a lure making video someday. Um, but there's also something I throw like this. Uh, the man's this baby one minus. Boy, have I caught a load of fish on this over years. This is also a generic one. I made this myself. So, in a short cast thing like this, we're going to keep it simple. I haven't done any on the water fish and stuff yet because, truthfully, I'm struggling with this technology and these cameras. I haven't quite got it figured out yet. So, we'll do a synopsis this way, then we're going to fish these things directly. Thing about square bill crankbaits first off, you need. Three colors, and I don't even, I didn't even bring one of them. You need chartreuse, black back, whatever chartreuse, coach dog sides, whatever. You need chartreuse. That's go getter. You need a chrome shad silver side, whatever. There's a, a kind of chrome blue back. There's a, a silvery black back. Like I said these are baits I make myself. And you need, in my opinion, oh, there's a. Shimmering refracting comb there and about that 2.5 size. You also need a brim color, sunfish, bluegill, perch, whatever. Guy, I am thinking anymore, this is about my favorite color in any kind of water year in, year out. I mean, I catch them on everything, but good color. You don't need to be fancy on colors. I mean, there's a crawdad, probably the one I throw the least in a square, but when I'm throwing a crawdad, crankbait, I'm generally throwing a wiggle wart or a deep or something, but that is a fish catching fool, especially with the red belly. You didn't hear that from me. Um, the two sizes I got, basically I got two sizes here, pretty close. The, I think they're calling this, what, 2.5? Um, this is a 1.5. I guess that's how long they are, 2.5 and 1.5 and inch. That's about it. They make some bigger ones. They make smaller ones. I have thrown that big one and done well on it. And the baby one minus is actually a little bit smaller yet, but it fishes, it's almost a wake bait. It doesn't it didn't quite fish like a regular square bill. So if you have two each in size, and this is another shape, that's that. These are all generic. I made all these. This is that spro, whatever they call it. Um, but anyway, and it goes a little deeper than this one, just a little bit. But anyway, if you two each. Of each color and each size, that'll get you. Two each because you're going to lose one sometimes. You don't lose many of these. You do deep diving crankbaits, but you're going to lose one once in a while. If you just have one each and each size of each color, you're going to be a long way towards having all you need in square bills. Um, I fish square bills, golly, 10 months, maybe 11 months out of the year. They really shine in summer and fall for me. Matter of fact, it used to be as a fall bait only for me, and I got smart and felt like that. There's other things you can do with them. I'm burning the heck out of them right now. Stop and go retrieve. I'm trying to bang. You always try to bang a square bill into stuff, any crankbait. You want to bounce off of stuff. I love fishing docks with them. When I'm fishing docks, I will very likely have two rods of square bills, and one will be made to bait a slightly run to the right, one will be made to slightly run to the left by spinning that eye. I will run into stuff, and I'm talking slightly, maybe two or three foot in the retrieve in a, a 40 foot cast. Uh, on boat docks, I don't throw long casts. You know, just past the dock, I want to crawl underneath that dock. I want to hit everything I had: hit foam, hit pilings, hit hit the boat lifts, whatever. I, I want to hit that and bounce off. When it bounces off, I'm gonna stop it for a split second. 
anytime a bait bounces off of something substantial, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to stop it. It hits it. It's doing this. It hits it. Deflects. It bounces off to the side. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to stop. Give that fish an opportunity to load up on it. Pretty simple. I'm burning them. I'm fishing them fast. Matter of fact, I fish a square bill as fast as any other lure across the board during the season. I'm going to fish it pretty quick. I am fishing on no more than 12 pound test line. The only reason I throw 12-pound is because I'm throwing around a bunch of crap and maybe a little bit more abrasion resistance than 10. But by God, I'll throw it on 10. I've thrown them on 8. I can tell you some stories about Table Rock one year. 8-pound test and square bill, what that did. That was fun. So anyway, pretty simple. I'm throwing a medium action, 7-foot rod. A lot of times I do have a 6-6 six, six medium. And when I'm fishing those boat docks or I'm fishing tight to the bank cover, I like that 6-6 six, six rod. I'm not making long casts. I want, I'm more in the accuracy and presentation. I am in, in the distance. Everybody's been making these long casts. Not necessarily the square bill. When you're fishing docks, fishing up close to cover. I will be doing some on-the-water demos as soon as I figure these freaking cameras out. Man, I, I'm struggling with the technology part. Be lucky you get this far. Guys, square bill. Mike Beasley, you asked for it. We're going to start on it, buddy. Um, we'll get some on the water stuff. I'm going to try to show you things that I do. It's my opinion. Uh, don't count for much, but if I can help somebody, better for me, better for you. We all like it. God bless you guys for watching. Just remember, my name is Dale Burks. You know why you can't be me, because you don't want to be me. This is a difficult place, okay? It's hard to be in this. But I'm a hick billy, not a hillbilly. I've told you all why. It takes something special to be a hick billy. Folks, thanks for watching. UltimateBass.com. Read more about this kind of stuff. God bless.